Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. Hey guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, the last of the Easter beers that we're reviewing. Uh, figured we would end with a bang, hopefully. Um, a beer that I'm stoked on. I reviewed this beer. I think I reviewed this beer on the channel. We did a blind battle beers with it once. I've had this beer a couple times, but uh, this is the 2019 vintage of Fundamental Observation from Bottle Logic Brewing up in Anaheim, California, I do believe. Uh, this beer comes courtesy of my man Tom. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Uh, Fundamental Observation, the 2019 vintage, is an Imperial Stout aged uh, with Madagascar vanilla beans and a blend of bourbon barrels. Not sure the bourbon barrels they uh, use, but FO, it's a fun beer. Um, I love vanilla as an adjunct for stouts. Um, I'm a big fan of this beer. The 20, was it 2016? Batch, I think batch two or batch three was my favorite. I never got to have batch one. I think it was batch three that I thought was the best one, but um, what is this? 13, 13.55% alcohol by volume. I thought this beer was a higher ABV, but maybe it varies from year to year, but um, we are gonna use the most properest of glasswares, RFO glass. I don't even remember where I got this from but I have it and I figured we would use it. So here we go, fun beer to end the night on. Hope you guys had an awesome Easter, those of you who celebrate. Um, it's also Passover weekend, so happy Passover to those of you who celebrate that. Let's drink a stout, it's been a while since we reviewed a stout. So that is pitch black in the glass, holy smokes. Uh, finger of just fluffy, like that mocha khaki head. I like when we talked about it, I like when the head of a stout is dark like that. It's like that kind of brownish, tan color. Um, it's dissipating rather quickly. I kind of poured this a lot. Let's see, let's see if we get some alcohol leaks from that. Yeah, there's alcohol leaks streaking down. It looks awesome, that proper glass. Look at that. FO in an FO glass. How dare you be that proper? Show more nose in it. This has been sitting out for a good hour, so this is right at room temperature. Just like I like my stouts. Ooh, it's, <laughs> it smells like boozy vanilla brownie batter. Yeah, there's definite, like, um, I mean, it's been, like I said, it's been a little bit since I've drank a stout, but there's that 13.5% is definitely present. It smells pretty, pretty warm, um, but there is just tons and tons of vanilla that go with, like, that chocolatey, fudgy brownie batter. There's a sweetness to it, too. Um, maybe even, like, a little bit of dark fruit, not crazy dark fruit, but there's, like, that kind of cherry cordial thing, but this is just vanilla for days. But it doesn't smell artificial vanilla. Like we reviewed um, Bourbon County vanilla a couple years ago and I had mentioned that that really smelled kind of artificial vanilla. This smells like legit vanilla cake frosting on top of a like brownie that you dipped in bourbon. Smells huge, smells massive, smells confectioner sugar, smells pastry, smells like it's about bedtime. Let's go ahead and taste it. Tom, cheers. Thank you, sir, appreciate you. chewy whoa I was expecting um, from how boozy that smelled that it was gonna be hot it's not this is like desserty chocolate cake with vanilla wow this is really fucking good there's a little bit of like heat in my chest um, nothing crazy but I was I was expecting this to like burn not be offensive but the way it smells I mean, it fucking smells high octane. It's crazy. Um, I, but like I said, I haven't had a big barrel aged stout in a while. Maybe that's just what I'm smelling. I was expecting this to be like crazy intense, like fucking ethanol, and it's not. This is decadent, like I said, decadent fudgy chocolate cake brownie batter with vanilla frosting. There's so much vanilla. Wow, this is really fucking good. It's chewy too. It's not to like that crazy old school toppling Goliath modem tones kind of a mouthfeel. Um, but for what it is, almost 14% aged in bourbon barrels, it's plenty chewy. It's full. It leaves that little bit of like coating, like kind of film on your tongue. That kind of sweet, like dark fruity thing that we smelled, it's sort of there. Um, I think I said like that kind of chocolate covered cherry thing. That's there. There's a little bit of like cherry ish dark fruit, but it's not crazy um me and nathan and craig and mike drank 
um, X from Toppling Goliath, and that was like fucking like straight berries, like so over the top dark fruit. There's like hints of this, but this is straight fudgy chocolate vanilla. There's so much vanilla. Um, but this for me, and it might be because we re we've reviewed a couple beers tonight, it doesn't go crazy like beta sweet. It's sweet, but I'll be able to sip on this and, you know, share it with my wife, and I think we'll be able to drink it no problem. Um, and that's not saying, like, you know, we're fucking ridiculous when we drink 14% beers, but it's not like that crazy offensive, you're going to have to labor through it to drink it kind of sweetness. Um, definitely pastry, but not diabetes. This is fire. It's been a while um, since I had FO. A couple years, probably. And this is every bit as good as I remember it. Um, this is a world-class barrel-aged stout. I know people aren't as hyped on Bottle Logic anymore because their beers are more available. Um, I, it might have been this vintage or last year. There was like bottle shops getting cases of this, and you could go, just go to a, a bottle shop and get it. Before it was like a brewery-only kind of release, so more hype equals you know a better beer. But um, I remember when people were drinking this, the first batch of this, they were just losing their fucking mind, saying it was the best stout ever. Um, for me, like vanilla adjunct stouts, this is, I mean, it's up there with the Modem Tones vanilla, um, Bourbon County vanilla, and it, like any other, I'm trying to think of other barrel aged vanilla beers I've had, and I just, off the top of my head, it's not going to happen right now. But this is, again, one of those beers that's widely available. You don't have to trade huge for it. This is worth your time if you like vanilla stouts. This is world class. This is absolutely fantastic. So, Tom, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much for sharing this. Um, we'll leave it at that. This is A+. Plus. Fucking awesome. Good, good stuff from Bottle Logic. So that's the 2019 Vintage of Fundamental Observation. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Um, if you've got one that you've been sitting on, it's drinking well right now. Um, go ahead and pop that bitch and let's talk about it. So uh, that is it. We're done for the evening. Fun day of beer reviewing. So I um, hope you guys had a fantastic uh, Easter, Passover, holiday weekend. I know it's kind of weird with the whole quarantine thing, but it is what it is for right now. We're almost done. It's almost over. So uh, I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.